What's up, good people? Back with another video. And this story is a follow up on the Tyree Nichols story, where it is now being reported by The Guardian News that Officer Demetrius Helley took and shared photos of Tyree Nichols after his brutal incident. And it says, in newly released documents in the case of the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols by Memphis police last month provided a scathing account of what authorities called a blatantly unprofessional conduct of five officers and included new revelations about how one of them took and shared pictures of the victim's bloody body. And uh, they're saying here five officers, but we now know that there is actually six, uh, at least six that were involved. I don't know why they insist on not really mentioning the sixth officer who has also been uh, released of his uh, duties. But um, it goes on to say that the officer Demetrius Haley stood over Nichols as he laid propped against the police car after the assault and took photographs, which Haley sent to other officers and a female acquaintance, according to the documents released by the Tennessee Peace Officers Standards and Trainings Commission on Tuesday. Now, this is interesting because I'm wondering, was he also the officer who uh, told Tyree to sit up and, and tried to act like, you know, he was, he cared in that moment and all that foolishness. And it says in a quote, your on duty conduct was unjustly blatantly unprofessional and unbecoming of a sworn public servant. The Memphis police department wrote in a request to Haley and the other officers being stripped of their professional certifications as law enforcement personnel. Now, this is the thing about, there have been some conversations about law enforcement personnel and when they are released from duties at certain departments and how they move to other departments. Now, this being a high profile case and the fact that they are, you know, facing charges, et cetera, may make this a lot harder for them to ever get law enforcement jobs again, you know, maybe. But we do know that officers do move around when they are, you know, released. And, and that's something that really needs to be addressed as well, where people like this can't go and then get a job at some other, other police department and then continue to torture uh, the public. So, uh, the article goes on to say all five have already been fired and charged with second degree murder and other felonies following the attack on Nichols after a traffic stop on January 7th and his death in a hospital three days later. Nichols' death sparked protests and fresh calls for police reform in Memphis and nationwide. It says Haley's lawyer declined comment and lawyers for the other four officers either declined to comment or did not respond to the request from the Associated Press. They're trying to get their cases together. Of course, they're not responding right now. <laughs> they have nothing to say until uh, the trial. It says the new documents offer the most detailed account to date of the actions of the five officers. Haley, Desmond Mills Jr., Tadarius Bings, Justin Smith, and Emmett Martin III. Another officer has also been fired and a seventh has been relieved of duty in connection with the latest police brutality to prompt anger, nationwide protests, and intense public conversation about how police officers treat black residents. As many as 13 Memphis officers could end up being disciplined, officials said on Tuesday. The newly released documents are part of a request by the Memphis Police Department that the five officers who have been charged with M be decertified and prohibited from working in law enforcement again. Exactly. That's what we should be working on. And not just in this case. Says the Memphis police chief, C.J. Davis, signed each of the five requests to decertify the officers. Haley, who was driving an unmarked car and wore a black sweatshirt hoodie over his head, forced Nichols from the car using loud profanity, then sprayed him directly in his eyes with a chemical irritant spray, according to the statement. The quote says, you never told the driver the purpose of the vehicle stop or that he was under arrest, it states. Haley did not have his body camera on when he stopped Nichols, but was on the phone call with someone who overheard the encounter. Oh, that's interesting, too. Of course he doesn't have the body camera on, because it's already been reported that there's been other victims of his days prior. Yeah, like multiple victims who've spoken out about him, and even uh, prison in inmates when he was a corrections officer. So, yeah, he's trying to hide his crimes. Horrible. Says Nichols ran from the officers but was apprehended again a few blocks away. At that point, Haley kicked him 
in the torso as three other officers were handcuffing him. The other officers kicked Nicholson in the face, punched him, or struck him with a baton. According to the footage captured on the utility pole camera, one of the officers appears to quickly take a photo of Nichols on his phone as flashlights are shined on him. Martin claimed that Nichols tried to snatch the officer's gun from his holster after another officer forced him out of the vehicle, with Martin helping by grabbing Nichols' wrist. However, video evidence does not corroborate the gun grab claim, the document states. I knew it. And when I saw that in the video, at the end of the video, when they were kind of just debriefing and recapping their version of the story on camera, I knew that that's what they were doing. They were setting it up. You know, the whole we feared for our lives situation. You know, he was resisting arrest. All of these, you know, trigger words that they have set up to give them complete immunity when it comes to these sort of situations. I saw them setting that plot in that debriefing after they were done brutally attacking him. And then the other piece was them trying to go for the, oh, he's on drugs, he's a drug addict, and he had this supernatural strength because one of the officers, I don't know which one it was, also asked him on camera, hey, you know, what are you on, man? What, what drugs have you taken? And he's like, just, I've had a drink, like just alcohol. Like I don't do drugs like that. So I knew that the reason he was asking him that was because he wanted to get Tyree on camera saying that he had taken drugs so that they could say, see, he has supernatural strength and that's, you know, we fear for our lives. So we were defending ourselves. Craziness. And it also goes on to say that Martin also failed to disclose in a required form that he punched Nichols in the face and kicked him multiple times and instead added in his later statement to investigators that he gave body blows. Wow. And that's a quote, body blows. Wow. That's what you call it? Body blows? That sounds like some street language. <laughs> Says the document said the video showed Martin kicking Nichols repeatedly and punching him in the face five times while two officers held Nichols' arm. That's crazy. Meanwhile, on Wednesday morning, Tyree Nichols' stepfather, Rodney Wells, told CNN that if Congress had passed the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act reform legislation introduced by Democrats that is stuck on Capitol Hill, Nichols might not have been taken. He's quoted as saying, had the pattern of police violence been addressed by legislation or by the Memphis Police Department, Tyree Nichols would not be gone today, Will said. Both he and Nichols' mother, Rovon Wells, had been guests at Joe Biden's State of the Union address to the nation on Tuesday night, as had family members and other victims of police brutality. Rovon Wells told CNN, I met a lot of mothers yesterday in D.C., and I was saddened to hear all the stories these women were telling me. If the government doesn't do something, they are showing me that they do not have humanity. You need to get off your butts and get this bill passed. Amen. And I think that sums it up perfectly. Uh, at this point, I think it is just a conversation about humanity and their, the lack thereof for those who are in power, who can make really turn this thing around and make there be some level, make there be accountability and get, you know, the people who should not be serving and protecting, quote unquote, uh, get them out of the field of law enforcement. feel like at this point, if you're not working towards it, uh, you don't have humanity uh, when you have the power to change these sort of things. But um, I just wanted to share the story. It's very sad and there's more developments coming out. I have been hearing the, the thing about the uh, rumors of a dating situation with Tyree and someone connected to this Demetrius Haley. The last I had looked into it, uh, that was still a rumor. However, I've seen people are still talking about it. So I'm going to dig a little deeper on that. And some of you may know, have more information on that. So uh, definitely hit me up in the text community or comment below if you know a little bit more about that. But with that, I'm going to keep uh, updating you on this story. But for now, make sure until next time, until I upload the next video to take care and be blessed. Peace. Watch out for the people that ain't close to Speak a little something you could toast to I ain't tryna hear about what you won't do Moving like I meant to Hit the ground running like the rent do Speak a little something that you into I ain't tryna hear about what you been through Like hold up, hold up, say what's the hold up I got the pack, who got
got the roll up, I'm tryna pull up It seem like every time I show up, it gotta go up See the drip, they see the glow up, oh now they know us See it's funny how my pockets out of shape, but I fit for the flex Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text Parlay through the bird with my drip from the jacks Save a couple hundred, buy your with the rest, I